Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 6th of May 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can, doing whatever you can to help others around you if they are in need. Uh, what's going on in the world? Uh, in There's an interesting article in ProPublica uh, about Oklahoma and the... Uh, oil wells that have been drilled there and uh, are left unplugged uh, for a long time afterwards and this can can cause uh, pollution later on I mean uh, the, the the oil can actually come out and seep into the ground destroy farm areas and stuff like that uh, and they say that if if they were actually on the hook to have to clean up they might be on the hook for more than seven billion dollars but so far they've managed to escape and they have a bonding system uh, much like trump's bond <laughs> i think maybe uh, of uh, where the uh, amount of bonds uh, to cover are, are only 45 million so nowhere near seven billion um, it's quite an interesting and long article i recommend you read it and propublica deserves your support too Okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the LA Times uh, expert level game. I'm going to start with sevens blocking across here like this, giving me a seven in that square. I'm recording, aren't I? Yes, I am. Just double checking there that the recording was working. Sometimes I forget. Seven across there. There's a seven. I would like to repeat it because I forgot. Seven down here, down here, across there. That's as far as we can take the sevens. We have a two up here and down there, so we'll sneak in a little two there. Three blocking down there. There's a three. One blocking this square, one blocking this square, so there's a one. Um and nine blocking across here and nine up there will give me a nine in that square and uh what's the last number down here um six is it find the key there we are six three down here up here and across there six disallowing anything in this block here so no six is allowed there so that's going to be a six this then will be our five we will be left here with five and three and this must be four and nine okay Okay, across here we're looking for 1, 8 and 9. We've got 1 and 8 in the same column. That then will be our 9. 9 up here, up there and across here will give me 9 in this square. And 
And 9 down here and across here puts 9 into one of these two squares, blocking up. 9 across there, across there. And there's another 9. Okay, we've got uh, 8 across here, there, and up there, so that's an 8. And we've got uh, 2 blocking both of those squares, so that's 2 there. Uh, this has to be 4, 5, I think. Okay, we've got four blocking across here. Here's our four. The last number over here is six, I think. Eight blocking this square. We don't have eight in this row yet. Let's put the eight there. Let's have a one there. Don't have any completed digits yet. I know I've got two and six in that section there, but oh, I hear the cat meowing. Okay, eight across here and eight down there. Gives us eight here, eight down here, eight down there, eight across here and there. There goes an eight. And I think I put something in these two before, did I? Or maybe not. Ones are there or there. Um. Uh, 
Uh, well, we've got 1 and 3 blocking this square, and we've got 1 and 3 blocking this square. That means this square and this square must be 1 and 3. And it doesn't help because this is going to be, these two squares are going to be 4, 5. That's 4, 5. It does mean that this is not 4, 5. Shall I just investigate just in case? It's not 4 or 5. It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not 6. It could be 7. It's not 8 or 9. It is a 7. That's because of our unique rectangle rule. And that was very useful there. 7 blocking up there, 7 up there. We'll put 7 into that square. That really came in handy that time. Now we know this is 4 and 5, so this is going to be a 3. 3 blocking down here and across there means that that's a 3. And 3 and 2 blocking down here, 2 and 3 blocking down here, and 2 and 3 blocking across there means that's a pair of 2 and 3. Um, oh, I can do it like this. The 1 goes there. This is, what, 4? This is 2 and 3, and so this is... Six. Okay, that was a nice little flurry there, wasn't it? And uh, we can still go on. I think we've got ones down here like this and across there. That will give me a one there. One across here, across there, and down here means that's one. Still haven't finished ones. Ah, oh, we've got a one across there, and there is our final digit one. The last number two place here is a six. Okay, let's see what we've got to do. We've got to do twos. What do we know? Well, our two blocking like this puts two into one of these two squares. In other words, this can't be two, so that must be our two. This will be our three. Uh, three across here, across here, and down there means that's three in that square. And the last number down here, I've now forgotten. What is it? Is it a five? I think it is a five. Um... Right. Fives. Let's see, what are we looking for here? Two and four, I think. So the four blocking down there will give us four there and two there. Two down here and there and across there. Uh, finishes off the twos. Again with the fours, anything new? Uh, yeah, we need a four in this bottom row, so four blocking down there. There's four then. And the last number here is, I think, a six again. Six blocking up there means this is six. The last number here is five. looking for nine and nine blocking down here so there's our nine nine blocking across here there's nine the last number here is a four four across here puts four into that square four up there means that's a four this is a five still need a five here we need a five there five blocks up there there's our five and the last number here is six so a much easier game from the LA Times that's it thank you take care bye bye